Hello, my name is Victor Mendez Cross, and I'm an applications engineer with Aver. Today, I'm going to walk you guys through how to set up a Shure MXA 310 with our Aver MT300N tracking box. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing we want to do is find out the IP address of our MXA 310. So go ahead and load up the Shure web device discovery. Make sure that your computer is on the same network that the microphone is plugged into and find the IP address. Once we've found that, we can open the web UI of the MXA. Once we're in the web UI, we can begin the process of staticking the IP address of the microphone. Best practice uh, for tracking is to static these IP addresses. That way we're certain the MC300 is always going to be looking at the correct microphone. So on the web UI, go down to settings, go down to network, configure the IP address to manual, and enter your static IP address. One thing to keep in mind whenever we're first setting up our microphone is to go to the auto mix setting and make sure that the leave last mic on setting is not checked. That setting is used to keep the most recently used microphone channel active. We don't want that whenever we're doing voice tracking because it'll interfere with what lobe is going hot in real time. Please just make sure that this option is unchecked. All right, now that we've configured our static IP address for our MXA 310, let's go ahead and find the IP address of our MT300. So if you notice, on the rear of our MT300, there are two separate ports. One is PoE plus, the other is not. The PoE plus port defaults to an IP address of 192.168.1.168, while the non-PoE port is DHCP. In this case, we're using the PoE port, so let's navigate to this IP address. Once I've navigated to this IP address, I could go ahead and disable the DHCP on our MT300N and static the IP address as well as change the host name. Okay, now that we've static the IP addresses on both the Shure MXA as well as the MT300, we can get started on pairing these devices with our cameras to achieve voice tracking and video switching. In order to do that, I'm in my MT300 web interface under my device list. This is where I get to add all of my cameras as well as all of my microphones. Since I'm just adding a microphone, I'll click on add device, microphone, make sure I pick sure, and then enter the IP address. To verify that this is the correct one, 203. And then let's give it a name. So I'll just call it Sure 310. Click Save and it auto populates. So now, if I want to pair this microphone with cameras utilizing presets to achieve voice tracking and video switching, I'll go down to my profiles. I already have a profile created for my MXA. I'm gonna select a camera. In this case, it'll be this camera right here, which is my TR. I'll select my microphone, my Shure, and my microphone channels. So the 310 only has four channels, but this box automatically defaults to eight channels. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. That'll be fine since channels one through four exist on the microphone. That's where we're gonna see the audio come through. Channels five through eight don't exist. So we're not gonna see any audio come through that. And I'll just call this my TR group. All right, so what we're going to be looking for is under the TR, we have our little camera icon. We want it to be blue and we want that little pulsating dot. That means that the camera is outputting video. For right now, it's over the IP RTSP stream. And then over here on the microphone, we want this light to be solid green like it is right now. That means that the MT300 can see the microphone and we're good to go. And if you'll notice with me speaking right now, 
we've got channel one lighting up blue and we're getting that little audio notification. If I were to tap channel four, you'll see channel four light up. Let's go ahead and make sure that all of my channels are working. There's channel one, there's channel four, there's channel two, and there is channel three. So I have four channels of audio that I can play with and assign presets to. So let's go ahead and assign some presets and see how this works. All right, so I'm in my TR camera's web interface and this is where I'm going to set some presets. So I'm going to set a preset for channel four and a preset for channel one. Channel four is the right side of my room Channel one is the left side of my room. So let's go ahead and set some presets. All right, so this will be for channel four. We'll save that as preset 63. And then we will come over here And we'll go ahead and save this as preset 70. So let's just double check that those presets saved. All right. Perfect. So now let's go into MT300 and assign those presets to the TR camera. So for channel four, we're looking at preset 63. And for channel one, we're looking at preset 70. All right, let's unmute this microphone. And if I begin speaking at channel four, we have my TR camera pan over to preset 63. And you can see on the screen that channel four is lighting up blue and we get that audio notification. And if I were to walk across my space and speak at channel one consistently, then the camera pans over to preset 70. All right, so we've seen the tracking work with one camera, but let's make this a bit more interesting and add a couple more cameras to this. And let's see if we can get that video switching going. So to add a couple more cameras, I'm just going to click the group button and this will allow me to create another group and pair it with the same MXA310. So let me select another camera that I've added. We'll select my PTZ310 UNV2. We're going to select the Shure MXA310 again, and I will select eight channels, and I'll give it a name. We'll call this group PTZ. All right, so we've got that blue icon, sees that the camera is streaming. You'll notice we don't have that pulsating dot. That's because we don't have anything assigned to these channels. So the box isn't going to tell the PTZ camera to start streaming. So right now we're utilizing channel four and channel one on my TR. I'm going to go ahead and remove this preset from channel one. So for my TR group, I'm only going to be utilizing channel four on my MXA. And I'm going to assign a preset from my PTZ camera to channel one. All right, now that I have presets assigned to both groups, both my TR and my PTZ group, let's see if we can get this video switching working. So if I unmute my MXA and begin speaking, we're going to see channel four go hot and my TR camera goes to preset 63. Now, if I walk over to my left, what we're going to see is channel one go hot and the video switch to my PTZ camera. So this is a video switch that happens automatically inside the MC300 based on what preset we have assigned to what group. And it's that simple. That's how easy it is to pair the Shure MXA310 with our MT300N tracking box.
for voice tracking and video switching. We also have a guided tour video of the MC300 if you would like a bit more information. And please don't hesitate to reach out. We are here to help you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it informative. Thank you. Have a good day.